Typically, when medical procedures are performed, we hope the mortality rate is zero. But that isn't always the case. In fact, while you might imagine that a mortality rate can't ever be over 100% for a procedure, one doctor actually managed to perform a surgery with a 300% mortality rate. That doctor's name is Robert Liston, and this is that story. Robert Liston was a surgeon from the times before anesthesia, which made the job even more difficult. One of the best ways to do surgeries back then was to just go as fast as humanly possible. That's less pain for the patient over a smaller amount of time. Robert Liston was one of the fastest surgeons in the world, even having the nickname the fastest knife on West End. Liston was famous for quick amputations, where he only lost one in ten men, where most surgeons at his time period would lose one in four. Liston could famously amputate a leg in about two and a half minutes, even performing one amputation in just 28 seconds. Before every surgery, Liston would say, time me, gentlemen, which became his iconic catchphrase. However, not all of Liston's surgeries went according to plan. He was performing a leg amputation on one patient and was so laser focused on being fast that he forgot his assistant had hands. In his first swoop, he took off his assistant's fingers along with the patient's legs. Realizing his mistake, he quickly jerked the knife upwards, on its way, snagging a spectator to the surgery's coattails. The spectator died on the spot, later to be found from shock. Liston finished the amputation successfully, but the patient in Liston's assistant's wounds became severely infected and both soon died. Liston successfully, or unsuccessfully, had just performed the deadliest surgery on a single person in history. A surgery on one person that resulted in the deaths of three. It's the only surgery with a recorded mortality rate of 300%. Liston did continue practicing amputations, and he was still one of the best. However, he had a number of other mishaps. In another amputation, he did make the cut just a tad bit too high in his excitement, accidentally cutting off one of his patient's manhood along with his leg. Rather unfortunate. He also mistook a lump in a boy's skin as a skin tag, and after removing it, he discovered it was actually an aneurysm of the carotid artery, and the boy died. Later on, Liston became one of the first surgeons to operate with anesthesia, and died a distinguished surgeon. But he also died a surgeon with some impressive, but unfortunate, surgical track records. <laughs> 